minus x plus y minus 1 equals 0. So how do we actually draw its graph? We need to draw the line of this equation using a graph paper. Yes, to draw a line, we need two points. So we follow a few simple steps. First, we express y in terms of x. Basically, we just want to have the variable y on the left-hand side. So transposing the other two terms to the right-hand side, we can write y as x plus 1. We express y in terms of x. The next step is very simple. Since we need at least two points, we choose at least two suitable values for x and find corresponding values of y. What this means is that we take some value for x, insert it in this equation and find the value of y. To get two points, we have to do this at least twice. Two points would suffice, but we will plot three points. I will tell you the reason very shortly. Let's draw a table. In the first row, let's consider values of x. And in the second row, we find corresponding values of y. And in the third row, we write the coordinates of the point x, y. Let's assume the first value of x to be 0. Remember, this value can be anything. We will just substitute random numbers in place of x and find the corresponding value of y. When we substitute 0 in place of x of this equation, we get the value of y as 0 plus 1, which equals 1. Now let's assume x to be 1. If we put x is equal to 1, then we will get the value of y as 1 plus 1, which equals 2. And if we use 2, then we get the value of y as 3. That's it. Now we have three points on our graph. 0, 1, 1, 2 and 2, 3. Let's name these points A, B and C. Remember, all these points satisfy this equation, which means that all these points will lie on the line of this equation. The difficult task is over. In the third step, we just need to plot these points and join them. Here's your graph. This is point A, 0, 1. This is point B, 1, 2. And this is point C, 2, 3. Now we draw a line passing through these three points. This becomes the line for our equation, minus x plus y minus 1 equals 0. Now we come back to our question of why three points when two are enough. If you had gone wrong in your calculations for any of the points, then you would not have been able to form a straight line passing through all three points. You would then have a chance to rectify your error. To be even more sure about your answer, this is what you can do. Take a random point on the line, say point D. Its coordinates are minus 3, minus 2. These values should satisfy the equation. The left-hand side should equal the right-hand side. Let us calculate the left-hand side first. We substitute minus 3 in place of x and minus 2 in place of y. After substituting these values, if we get a 0, which is the right-hand side, then it means that the line is correctly drawn. It can be calculated as minus of minus 3 plus minus 2 minus 1. That equals 3 minus 2 minus 1, which equals 0. Yes, that is equal to the right-hand side. Let's review what we just learnt. This was our original equation. We kept y on the left-hand side so that we could substitute different values of x, get values for y and form the coordinates of the points. Once we get the points, we plot the line passing through all the points and also verify our answer by considering a random fourth point on the line. Guess what? This technique can also help us solve two linear equations.